Okay, okay, okay. Let my boy cook. Holy crap, bro. Look at him cook. Oh my god, my boy got skills, bro. What's up, you guys? Your boy Pervert Senpai here, and today we're gonna to be reacting to Revengers episode 4. On the last episode, we got to see our boy Kurama actually use some a bit of like stealth, meaning that he wasn't gonna like you know scream and attack in front of an enemy. So it does seem like to me he is changing more of an assassin instead of just a samurai. And then again to see the gambling guy. I think I'm just gonna call him gambling guy. Yeah, he does not like kurima at all well it seems like no one likes kurima besides maybe the doctor guy and the leader of the assassin group with that said if you guys happen to enjoy my reaction on today's episode hit that like button if you guys want to see my reaction on the fifth episode hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't already but that's pretty much all i gotta talk about let's hop on to today's episode uh it sounds like the siblings that are like the owners of this place are fighting Stupid hedge low G. <laughs> Damn, it's already the afternoon. My guy been sleeping, bro. <laughs> what a opening. What a beginning right there. <laughs> it's funny how they put like a wall between them. <laughs> it looks like our boy went gambling again. <laughs> so I guess that's what he does with his money. Compared to Kuruma, it seems like he doesn't do much during the day or the night. <laughs> so I'm guessing this is the traditional way of how he wakes up. <laughs> Oh, oh damn my boy just straight up ignored him oh okay so i guess kurimo is just being polite by not trying to interfere with him oh he spent it all on that screen what so i think kurimo got scammed it seemed like <laughs> wait so this guy is gonna teach kurimo how to earn cash while he's gambling and loses money okay <laughs> Ooh, ooh, that sound. Ooh. <laughs> is he like sitting on him? <laughs> Jesus Christ, what is he doing? <laughs> oh, so it looks like Kempa accepts, like, gives medicine to people while also getting vegetables from them. Oh, wait, what the heck? Oh, okay, so Kurma, it seems like he's working for Tempa now. <laughs> so what's up, man? <laughs> My boy Kerma just getting straight to the business. True, I mean, people that could read and write. Oh, damn, he was able to caught that? <laughs> Wait, so that's all he does? He wakes up and he practices swordmanship. <laughs> My boy Kerma, bro, he just thinks about the sword. That's it. He had no time for his wife. Wait, where is he taking him? What the heck? Isn't this the red district? I don't think that's a chick. Wait a minute. Don't tell me. Wait, wait, wait. Was Neo trying to say that Kurma was going to work in the red district? <laughs> Selling house warming gifts to the boss. <laughs> My boy Doji really trying to convince Kurma that he's able to sell bowl. Wait, so are they trying to like resell the product? It, that's what it seems like to me. So he still has a struggle with the concept of revenge. You know, I think Joji, much as shows he hates him, I think he cares about him. <laughs> Maybe he's just a jinx. Yeah, I'm thinking so too. Oh, so the chapel is like in the forest. I see. Hmm? Wait. No money. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? What's happening? Oh, this is bad. I could sense it. Oh, I knew it. I knew there was more to this revenge. Oh, so there was a middleman. I'm kind of having a hard time because I barely remember certain characters' names. So this is kind of hard to remember. <laughs> Wolf one stone. <laughs> But who got her hooked on the drugs though? The mistress. So it was the mistress that convinced oh that got her drugs. Uh <laughs> okay, I guess Soji isn't gonna be joining. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that's why he's choosing him. <sighs> My boy. <laughs> of course he'll try to act natural. <laughs> Even Neo's questioning it. 
<laughs> he just gives him that cold stare. Bro, he's already suspicious off the bat. <laughs> uh, grinds. Hmm. <laughs> our boy Soji is just worried about our boy Kuruma. Wait. Oh, he's drawing? Oh, what is he gonna be drawing? Oh, wait, is he actually good at drawing? Okay, 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 let my boy cook. Holy crap, bro, look at him cook. Oh my god, my boy got skills, bro. Damn, bro, I mean, I gotta give it to the guy. All right, looks like there's something that he's really good at besides, well, swords. <laughs> All right, so it seems like the mistress, mistress is this person right here. I wonder how they're going to kill her. I'm kind of curious about that. Oh, it's a kite. Oh, is Neo going to be the one killing her? What was that? Whoa. Okay, that was an arrow. And he, oh, damn, he got pierced. All right, it looks like Kempa and Neo are going to be the ones doing this assassination. Oh, so communication. Hey. Oh, well, she got out of the place. Now she's free to kill. Oh, no, not him. Oh, bro, she's gonna get suffocated. Bro, my guy has the coldest eyes ever, bro. <laughs> God damn. You didn't let her finish speaking, bro. Oh, yes. Back to the revealing that awesome art behind his back. Oh, and there she goes. Bam, just like that. All right, looks like the revenge was fully filled now. I wonder if our boy Kurumi is gonna try to keep on drawing. He was really good at it. <laughs> he, all he was worried about was if he was casual enough. Oh, so it seems like there's more to him than the eye can see. Wait, well, what's the art piece? What does it show? Whoa, dude, he did that with just a brush? <laughs> Time to review today's episode. So I was correct on what I was thinking on my last review, seeing how it wasn't really fulfilled the mission of the revenge. Because I felt like something was missing. And from what it showed us on today's episode, it kind of told us on who were the people that were left to kill. Seeing how they were trying to like hide or being hidden. And so it was hard to find them. Luckily, they were able to spot them later on. And Tempo, like always, whenever he used that bone and arrow, my god, he goes wild, my guy. And with the uh, Usui, like with his like golden paper that he puts on people's faces, he gave no time for that chick to finish her sentence. He just said, nah, you dead, you dead, bitch, you're dead. <laughs> but I really did like how Kurumi, like he didn't really have nothing much to do but do, you know, swordmanship because, you know, he was a samurai. And seeing how he can't really be a samurai and so he has to find another way to earn money instead of like, I guess, being a mercenary. But luckily in this mission that Kurumi was in, he was trying to act casual while being undercover and while he was doing that he found something interesting to do he started you know painting and in those painting of those drawings uh i gotta say i was impressed by how precious and how beautiful it was i mean i gotta say from a samurai guy i was not expecting him to have that delicate touch now what was interesting was seeing that usui uh when he saw that painting or that drawing of that cat he was like shocked and i mean i gotta say i was shocked too i was like yo that is some precious painting right there but now that we know that Kurumi is now able to be financially stable by himself without needing to rely on others besides needing to do those assassination missions, I'm kind of curious what else he's going to do or what's going to happen next. With that said, if you guys happen to enjoy my reaction on today's episode, hit that like button if you guys want to see more reaction on the fifth episode. Hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't already. But that's pretty much all I got to talk about. It's been your boy Perry Senpai and I'll see you guys in the next episode.